Hi, Harris here with the dads, Harris and Dave. And Jacques is here with me too. And today we're going to make a seafood stew. This is an amazing stew that has, I've already chopped up a whole knob of fennel, three um, sticks of celery, and one white onion. It's unusual to use white onions. Then I've added some dry oregano, about a tablespoon, and some red pepper flakes. And I'm going to put that into about a half a cup of olive oil that I have heating up here already on the skillet. And this is a large pan because I'm going to, this, this makes, this really makes a very great a stew. And it's got a lot of seafood in it. It's got mussels, clams, it has um, calamari, and it also uh, has a striped sea bass. So it's a really, really great soup with white wine and, and tomato. Again, when you use the palmy. And um, so I'm going to let this work on the stove here to get happy for about um, five minutes, and then we'll check it again. Can you see inside here? All right, so I'm going to let this get happy, and I'll be back in about five minutes. And that's at about a medium-high heat, by the way. <laughs> okay, I'm back. It's actually been about 12 minutes. And if you come over here and look, I've been stirring this pretty regularly. And you see how it's all sweated out. I added a little salt to it as well and a little pepper. Sweated that out. And now, the next step of making this delicious, amazing Italian stew is you want to put this on a very low, low, low heat, super low heat. And then you want to add in the key ingredient, which is squid. When you think about these ingredients here, the ingredients here are fennel, which is that like anise flavor. Then you have the white onion, which has that very delicate onion flavor. And then you're adding in the celery. And now we're going to add in the squid and we're going to cook it for about 15 minutes at a very low temperature. You take the squid pieces itself and you cut them into rings like this and you take the tentacles. You should have about half of each and you want to cut the tentacles in half. So you're going to put them in to your dish, into your um, pot and you're going to slow this occasionally at a very low heat. What's going to happen is the squid, as the squid cooks slowly, the juices that come out of that squid are what makes this dish, I'm telling you, off the charts delicious. So I'll be back in about 15 minutes. Okay, so as you look in the pot and you see the juices that are coming out of the squid, that's what we're looking for. It's only been cooking for about seven minutes or so, so it needs about another, it needs about 15 minutes, so we need another eight minutes. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add two cups of white wine, and we're gonna add the zest done with a potato peeler of one lemon. We're also, it's very easy to do, you just take your potato peeler and you just peel it off like that. Try and get as little of the white as you can, because the white is bitter. Um, then what we're going to do is make a gramolata later using a second lemon. But for this one, we're going to grate the lemon zest. And then we're going to chop some parsley very fine and mix that together. Normally when you make a gramolata, you use also um, garlic. But we're not going to use garlic. We're going to omit the garlic because this is such a delightful, very, very delicate, amazing stew with the shrimp and scallops and mussels and striped bass and the calamari, you don't really need all, you don't need the garlic, okay? Okay, well it's been about 15 minutes now, and the calamari is looking great. I've had a lot of really great juice that's come out of it. Take a look. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to crank the heat up from very low, we're going to crank it up to about medium high. And now we're going to add in about two cups of white wine. Now, I'm using a Pinot Grigio. Um, which is a Santa Maria Margarita. I love this brand. I love to just drink this wine regularly. And you should always cook with wine you like the taste of, because that, that's what you're going to be tasting. So I'm going to put in about two cups. That's about a cup and a half. A little extra doesn't hurt. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cook that for about 20 minutes. And um, at a higher heat, but we're going to evaporate some of this alcohol off this wine, and then we're going to add in the palmy, like I told you about, the palmy and the lemon zest in strips. 
and then we're going to let that cook for another 15 minutes. I'll taste it, maybe add a little salt and pepper at that point. So we'll be back. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, and if you come and look, you'll see how the, the liquid has reduced, the wine has cooked down, it has reduced. So now we're going to lower the temperature to a low, low temperature here. And then we're going to add in um, the tomato puree, which this is about 26 ounces of um, puree. And I like to buy this brand, Palmy. It's fresh, no sugar added, it's in a carton, and it comes directly from Italy. It's delicious stuff. So I'm going to add that in. Whoop! I'm going to add that in. And also, you remember the lemon zest we talked about in strips? That also goes in right now. Then we're going to add a little salt and pepper. And pepper. And we're going to cook this at a very low heat for another 20 minutes or so. This is going to be amazing. We'll see you back here in a little bit. Harris here, the dad's Harris and Dave. Okay, it's been about 40 minutes now, and I'm going to take out the lemon zest as I talked about. And Dave was so kind to have them all wrapped up together for me over here, so I wouldn't have to go looking for them. And now I'd like you to come in and take a look at the texture here. You see how thick this has become? Nice thick texture. Oh, there's another lemon, piece of lemon right there. To get that out of there. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add two and a half cups of water. And then we're going to add two jars of clam juice. Shake it before you put it in. One, two. Now I've added a lot of liquid. I've added a lot of liquid to this. So I'm going to incorporate this and I'm going to throw in a little bit more salt and pepper because you want to layer your flavors. Adding that liquid, all that liquid in, and not adding a little bit more seasoning could make the, the, the stew taste bland. I want to try and get all these bits off the sides and get all them incorporated into the dish because all those bits that you see, that's flavor. And you want all the flavor in the stew. This is going to be so much fun tonight. I'm so looking forward to seeing good friends. Nothing like breaking bread with good friends. There will be, there will be eight of us for dinner tonight. Now, I want to show you this. This is my striped bass. I've already pre-cut it into portions. There's eight of us to dinner, but I wound up with nine pieces here, so that wasn't bad. I have 16 shrimp, so each person will get two shrimp. Then I have all these clams and all these mussels. I have them soaking in super cold water right now so that we can get all the sand out of them. And then I'm going to look at each individual mussel because if any of them are opened even slightly, they're, that means they're dead and they're, they will make you sick if you eat them. So. I was just trying to see if I had one here that wasn't good, but all these so far look good. But I'll go through them one at a time, and if there's any beard sticking out, I'll cut that off as well. All right, so now we're gonna let this simmer here for a little while, and actually at this stage, the next part is to put in all the mussels and the clams and the shrimp. Cover it, let it cook for about 10 minutes, and all the shells will open up. When, all, when just about all the shells have opened up, then it's done. And the last piece is to drop in the piece of striped bass, and that only takes about five minutes to cook. And then once it's done, I'll take each individual piece and I'll, I'll fill my bowls with all the seafood and arrange it, and then use broth to fill in on top, and I'll use that paraquay we talked about, the, um, the mixture of grumolata. lemon grumolata, which is the mixture of chopped parsley and lemon zest. Okay. And that's all yeah, that's all there is to it. I hope I don't get crazy and I have time to actually show you how I'm doing it with eight people in the house. It might be a little bit difficult, but we'll see. Thanks. The dads, Harris and Dave. Hey, I'm back. It's crazy. We're having folks. We have 
three couples sitting in the dining room and I've come out, the stew is really done. It's, it's amazing, wait till you see this. I'm gonna take the lid off, I want you to come up close with that camera and check it out. We put the fish in five minutes ago, so it's done now. The clams and the, and the um, mussels went in about 12 minutes ago. So we are ready to go. So I'm turning off this, lifting up this, it's gonna be a lot of steam. Abodanza, as my grandma would say. Huh? Wow, Beautiful amazing. All right, so we're going to serve this up, and everyone's going to enjoy it, and we're going to give you a picture of one of the plates. Thank you. The dads, Harrison Dave, check it out.